all right guys welcome to another beer review and uh, it's another entry into the northern powerhouse series 2019 this year hosted by northern monk and uh, today it's a collaboration between uh, one of the originators of this series i believe i still don't know the full background of it even though it's been a few days since i've had this box and i've already uploaded reviews just shows you the level of research that goes into my videos so yeah this is a collaboration between uh, northern monk and wylan and it's number four in the series so today it's a tropical sour ipa and the artwork comes courtesy of barney rushworth so it's got a really nice uh, coloured in tattoo vibe about it so yeah sour ipa clocking in at six percent abv ibus are 15 ebc is seven and the original gravity is 1.2 no 1.07 so this is brewed with el dorado citra mosaic hops and the adjuncts are mango guava pineapple and vanilla finally something that doesn't have passion fruit in it i'm getting sick of passion fruit being used in beer i love the flavor it gives but Mikola have totally put me off uh passion fruit in beers there's just something about it i just i got really bored of it but anyway we're not here to moan we're here to uh, celebrate and it's been a long day at work it's a little bit stormy and cooler outside now so uh, the tropical aspect doesn't really fit in but um, yeah so two absolute powerhouses pardon the pun so let's read the back of this so we teamed up with our newcastle friends wylam for this tropical sour ipa kettle soured overnight and well pulled with mosaic we then added 200 grams per liter of puree tropical fruits and dry hopped with El Dorado and Citra. So sounds absolutely wonderful. So without any further ado, let's get this opened and see what we get. So I've been really impressed with this series so far. And by the way, this is pouring wonderfully already. So yeah, I think I've had a, another sour IPA from Wylam. Uh, quite a Wylam back. Pardon the pun. That was just a shit joke. It wasn't even. It wasn't even. I can't even dignify that by with classing it as a pun because it was just a terrible joke. But uh, yeah, there was a sour IPA brewed in collaboration with I think North and a couple of other breweries, um, and that's what I'm actually really enjoying about this series so far. Uh, a lot of the beers from each brewery are beers that you would expect from the uh, the brewery that's involved in the collaboration, and they've all been fine examples so far. So uh, let's see how this one fares. And uh, straight away, it looks fantastic. It's like like an orange lollipop. Yeah, frozen ice lolly. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, looks a lot more vibrant on camera because the lighting's a little bit more generous uh, than it is in person. But yeah, turbid, murky, however you want to describe it. It looks chunky. It looks like you could bite a chunk out of it. And uh, yeah, it's got like that sort of a lemon curd innocent smoothie look and the beer poured with about one finger's worth a really nice compact soapy white head so certainly look in the part so let's see what we get in the nose these are the ipas i love to smell where they're not in your face with hoppy or fruity aroma but it's just the right amount it's it's a lovely balance on the nose at least of fruit added to the beer and utilization of hops but yeah it's like innocent smoothie you know the what innocent smoothie would i say like the tropical fruits innocent smoothie on the nose but then you get a little sweet citra vibe that mosaic is absolutely shining in this beer but yeah you get all those adjuncts as well but again the, the balance is really nice in terms of sourness I'm not getting too much of a funky vibe. Um, I am getting the, the vanilla in there, which sort of adds a little bit of a... Almost like a milk sugar sourness. But it's not like a sour IPA on the nose. It's just a really fruity, sweet IPA. Not that I'm complaining, of course. But yeah, I'm absolutely... I'm starting to foam at the mouth. So uh, let's give it a taste. Cheers. I 
Okay, that's quite interesting. The sourness is coming through a lot, actually, on the beer itself. It's like consistent, and I guess a little bit more puckering on the back end, as opposed to like a puckering. Yeah, I mean, it's. I can still feel that sensation of a sour tingle on my palate now. The first sip, or the first flavour you get on the sip is loads of hop character. Then that sourness kicks in, and then the fruit comes into play as well. But again, it doesn't stray off in one direction. I'd say that the, the two fruit flavours you get most, it's like a battle, but like it's a play fight. Because it's not an aggressive sort of, I'm stronger flavour than you sort of battle. It's like a play fight or a pillow fight with a spouse uh, between the mango and the pineapple. But yeah, you do definitely get that vanilla coming through, which might be a little bit too much for some. Um, I would say that to me, I mean, would the vanilla really be needed in this? I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or it's been used wrong or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, I think it would have been okay without the vanilla. But I understand, I'm sure the vanilla would help soften the overall sourness so it doesn't become a really sour bit. But for a sour IPA, that's probably the sourest IPA that I've had. Not that I've had this style too many times. It's not like one of those examples where it claims to be a sour OPA okay, and then it's just a very tiny, you know, pinprick of sourness. It's definitely there in the forefront. It's like that that tart sourness you get with real fruit. Almost like that sharpness you sometimes get with like a ripe is it would it be ripe when the blueberry leaves the tart? It's not that it tastes of blueberry, of course. That's the sort of sensation it's reminding me of. Lovely mouthfeel. It's not the boldest, but it is the upper end of medium. Carbonation is nice and gentle. Just a right amount just to help distribute the beer around your palate so it covers all those different senses on the palate. But yeah, it's, it's a lovely, lovely beer. Um, not 100% my thing when it comes to IPAs, but then again, I have to warm to this style a little bit more. But if I was presented like more cans of this, I'd be like, yeah, give them to me. I'm going to drink them. Lovely, lovely stuff. And at 6% ABV, the only reason why you'd probably want to take your time and not drink too many is because of that tartness and the, the vanilla characters might get a little bit too rich. But considering it's got all that fruit in there and there is vanilla, it's not overbearingly sweet. So the hops and the, the beautiful... Uh, malt build can also play along. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. It's not my favourite from the series so far. Um, it's probably, even though each one's got higher than an 8, and this would get an 8 out of 10, it's probably, if I was to rank them so far, this would be the first one I'd pick. From lowest to highest. But again, I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful little beer. But for my palate, it's not... It, I don't know. There's a fine balance. Do you know what I mean? Um, what am I trying to say without me? Because you can tell that I'm not shitting on this beer at all. And I want to make that abundantly clear. It's just lovely. It's really nice. Um, and that, that bitterness and tartness is building up more as I'm talking now. So that's probably why I'd, you know, just take my time with this as opposed to just guzzling it down. Which you could well do. But if you like your tropical sour IPAs, you've got a good one here. Really, really have. So yeah, I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. Uh, mm. It's Wylam, it's Northern Monk. You're going to get a good beer. Um... So yeah, 8 out of 10, go check out both breweries. If you've not checked out the previous uh, episodes this week, then the playlist will be down below. Um, if you've been drinking along or if you've tried this one, I'd love to compare notes with you guys. Are you a fan of either brewery? Are you a fan of this style? What are some of your favourite examples? Just hit me in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're coming, we're coming close to the end. We're about halfway through. So technically that's not really close. 
So the next beer will be with Buxton and uh, we're going to the West Coast with a West Coast IPA which I'm looking forward to because I've been really enjoying the West Coast IPAs that I've been drinking recently. So I hope you'll enjoy me. Uh, enjoy me. Oi oi. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for that. So thank you guys for watching. I'm really enjoying this week so far. I hope you guys are too. And if not, fair enough. And uh, yeah, the link down below uh, to the uh, the box is going to be in the description. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still available, but if you come across a can of this, definitely, definitely give it a try. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I've got some venison burgers to devour. See you guys later, and cheers.